The experience here in Rivendell with low maintenance zones is that initially we asked people to do this voluntarily. And um, that was uh, actually uh, fairly successful, but um, the problem with it was that it wasn't uh, completely successful. There were many people who chose not to implement a low maintenance zone. And the, the way they maintained it, its size, its appearance was, was highly variable. So the idea of um, making this a mandatory standard in the community uh, arose since the shoreline actually is property of the community and uh, the um, community has responsibility for maintaining the pond and the shoreline so that the um, stormwater management system is functional. So basically because of erosion problems, um, the uh, shoreline was changing and the functionality of the ponds was changing so the case could be made by the Ponds and Preserves Committee to the board that some action was, should be taken now to uh, avoid future very costly problems with remediating erosion uh, induced changes to, to the ponds. This turned out to be um, uh, the key to uh, getting not only the board on board, so to speak, but also uh, the community. Um, so that when we went to a mandatory um, uh, avoidance of mowing to the edge here, uh, that implementation was successful in about 98, 99% of uh, the uh, property around the ponds. Um, and um, uh, having the, um, the maintenance uh, company here uh, perform uh, the uh, the trimming of, of those zones, I, I think, is, has really led to um, wide acceptance and, and the successful implementation of the program.